Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over the in-video text-to-speech tutorial. So if you want to add a voiceover to some of your videos, this is going to be exactly how you do it. If you'd like to follow along, I will put a link in the description. In-video does come with a free plan, so they have plenty of free perks that you can at least test around and try out for yourself when it comes to creating videos. Let's begin. Also, one more thing before I do begin, uh, for some odd reason, every now and then my voice will speed up and it will mismatch with the video. I'm not sure if because like my computer is about to blow up or it's going too slow. So if that happens, uh, I have yet to figure it out. I might have to hop on over to another computer, uh, but at the same time, just want to let you know about that. So let's begin. What you want to do in the editor, one thing to keep in mind is that you want to make sure your volume isn't too loud if you have audio music. So if you click on this and go to volume, I've already done this. Normally it's a little bit higher, like say around here originally, you'll definitely want to lower it a little, especially if you have a voiceover. You don't want the music going over your voiceover. Obviously then it's going to be hard to hear. So here's what we need to do. What we want to do is click on the voiceover. I'm just going to move this a little. So how to create marketing videos on a budget is going to be the first aspect of it, okay? Let me type that in one sec. And once I have that there, there's going to be a few languages that you can choose from. I'm going to go with US English here, but just kind of quickly scrolling, scrolling through just so you can see what they have. Let's check out some of the voiceovers. Hello, hope you are having a great time making Matthew, your video. Hello, hope you are having a great time making your video. Hello. Hope you are having a great time making your video. Hello. Hope you are having a great time making your... Oops. Let's test out a few more. Hello. Hope you are having a great time making Hello. your video. Hope you are having a great time making your video. Hello. Hope you are having a great time making Hello. your video. Hope you are having a great... Overall, I mean, not the best in the world. It's nice to at least have the fact that they have voiceovers. But in my opinion, I've used a lot of voiceover software. So I've seen some of like the best of the best when it comes to voiceovers, but they'll get the job done. In fact, I can even show you how you can import a separate voiceover if that's what you want to do. Anyway, let's click on generate voiceover. And we've already previewed. Actually, we didn't preview how it sounds. I will do that in a sec. Let's click on add though. And what I want to do, it added right here, as you can see, I'm going to move this back to see when the text actually starts. So it matches up when the text appears. That's about when the voice can start. So move it right to where that is. And let's preview it. How to create marketing videos on a budget. Okay, I can actually move it a little bit more back just because there's a delay when it starts. how to create marketing videos Perfect. on a budget. Perfect, and obviously this is what we can do for each of the different sections. For example, this included a few headlines, like it's just plan ahead. Normally what you'd wanna do is you can say plan ahead and then maybe add a little bit more after. You can also expand the video or the section to allow for more time. So plan ahead when it comes to your YouTube videos so you know exactly what you need to do when you wake up and start the day. And then you're not spending a lot of time figuring out what's next on your plate, so to speak. Anyway, you would do the same thing here where you go to add a new voiceover and you'd repeat the process for every single slide. However, there are gonna be a few other options, which I talked about. So let me delete this very quickly. Delete. Here are some other options that we can also utilize. You can import from my uploads, which I'm gonna do. You can upload your VO file. And of course you can record your voiceover. I'm recording a voice right now, so that's gonna be hard for me to do, but I do have one already. So upload your VO file. Okay, I'm not gonna preview for it. This I got from Murph. Uh, I did a review for them. They probably have some of the best voiceovers. The one I used isn't even a pro version of the Murph. So uh, what I'm gonna do anyway, I'm gonna click on this and do add as VO. So as you can see, once again, I want this to start right around where this is going to. So let's preview this now and you can hear how it sounds. Not bad, right? How it even to create has like that marketing UK, videos on uh, a budget. Type of uh, accent, I guess you could say. Uh, one second and I'll show you how I did that in Murph. So what I did here is just create this simple how to create marketing videos on a budget. I selected the uh, voice here. There's a lot of them and of course export. And that's how you can take any type of outside uh, voiceover file, upload it there and then go from there. So there's multiple ways of doing it. You can use their text to speech. You can do your own voiceover or you can pretty much just upload any type of file. I used an MP3. And of course you can continue on, add more of them and go from there. But but I hope that helps you out when it comes to this in video text to speech tutorial. Very easy to do. Once you know how to do one block, it's going to be pretty much repeating the process and continuing on from there. I will leave links in the description for in video. They come with a free plan and even with Murph in case you want to combine softwares and get a, a really high quality voiceovers and add them to your in video videos. 
If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that about concludes this video. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.